Tom Guy, the man of Psy. Tom Guy, the man of Psy. Tom, 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 Tom Guy, the man of Psy. Today's program is brought to you by Plant Cells. So I guess we're doing those today. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we will be comparing an average plant cell to an average house. Whoa. Check that out. Let's see. The cell wall of a plant cell is all like an exterior wall. Both of them are protective coating that provides support. The cell membrane is just like the doors in the house. Both separate things, but let certain things through. Observe. The cytoskeleton is like the bricks of a house. Both help support support and shape the cell slash house. Uh Tom. Come on, Tom! If you look here, the electrical box or control panel of a house is just like the nucleus of a plant cell by directing all activities of the cell or house. If you look inside, the nucleus is just like the fuses in here. Because it is inside the nucleus and creates RNA and ribosomes the same way the fuses create electricity around the house. The air in a house is like the cytoplasm of the plant cell. Both surround and cushion everything inside. The big difference is that in the house, things move freely. The refrigerator of a house is like the vacuoles of a cell. Both store food and water, and occasionally waste. All right, who put this in here? The hallways of a house are just like the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short Z's. Both are pathways for movement of items within the cell of a, or house. Ribosomes hold proteins for the cell. If you compare proteins to food and cell to house, you can compare ribosomes to kitchen appliances, such as a microwave, toaster, blender, etc. Crikey! As you can see, the mum, in her natural habitat, makes and packages food and takes it to the table. This is very similar to how a Golgi apparatus makes and works to modify a protein and package it so that it is exported across the cell membrane for use elsewhere. This is interesting because... <gasps> Crikey! She spotted me! Run! 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 You know that a light is a bulb that releases light energy. An organelle that also releases energy is mitochondria. These two are similar, and further show the similarity of plant cell to a house. Alright, Sam! You've made it this far! Now! For the prize of a million dollars, which part of this house is most similar to the organelle Aluceoplast, an organelle that stores starch, oils, and proteins? Uh, the sink? I'm sorry, Sam. You made it this far and you were wrong. The correct answer was, in fact, the pantry, which stores oil.
oils, starch, and protein. Better luck next time, Sam. paint gives it a different distinct color. Do you know what gives plants their green color? Ooh! I know, I know, I know, I know! Tom! 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 Matt! Tom! What? Come on, Tom, I know it! That's right, Matt. It's chromoplast. Okay. <sighs> That's all for now. You'll you now see how much a house is like a plant cell. I'm going in my house now. Well, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Get it? Because he lives in a plant cell because Plant cells and houses are almost